Are you tired of your flayed skin cloak looking drab and unappealing? Want to put a little zazz into your grotesque human leather wardrobe? Want to go from fabius to fabulous? Hi, and welcome to Walk Fiend Studios, where chaos reigns. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at Fabius Bile, the new model, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got a long history with this one. I remember when the original came out. So, with this new sculpt of Fabius out, uh, I just wanted to take a shot at that. I did one of the older ones in a diorama for a competition a few years back. Um, I thought my conversion skills were pretty good, but I felt the paint job let it down at the time. So I'm now looking forward to going back to Fabius and giving him another shot. So here's his uh, flesh cloak. First up, I've just started with the basic zenithal highlight. Well, I'm not going to go into it because there's plenty of other great tutorials for that. But it just helps you work out where all the highlights and shadows are. But I quickly cover it up with a base layer of men's glow. Now use a couple of layers of this thing down. You should move a drill. After that, we're just going to give it a couple of layers of KDM flat down. And we're going to cover the whole thing just to brighten it up. After this is dry, we can start on the fun part. Now we're going to start highlighting the flesh cloak, picking out all the raised areas with some very thin layers, accentuating the shapes of all the individual patches of skin. Uh, we want this to be as smooth a transition as possible, so we're going to start off with 50-50 mix of Cadian flesh tone and Kislev flesh. You want to catch the most raised areas, such as either side of this large cleft in the back of the cloak, but you also want to create some variation between the panels, so be sure to try and contrast lighter edges against darker edges in a natural way. You should always be pulling your paint towards the area where you want most of it, so at this stage, the lightest areas, we drag the brush in. There's an area of highlight that's got uh, darker areas on both sides, you pull the paint in from one side and then in from the other. I'm also going to go over the small folds on the front of the mini, uh, around the lacing of the cloak. These just need a regular highlight. Next we're going to switch to just Kislev Flesh, and this time we're doing the same thing again, just covering a little less area, thinning our paints a little more, just go around the cloak, strengthening all these highlights, pushing the contrast up further. Now we're going to add a little screaming skull into the Kislev flesh. Go about a one-two mix. This gets the same treatment, you just pull those highlights up until we really start to see those volumes getting defined. And now I just do a final pass with pure screaming skull and you only need to hit some very, uh, very precise highlights on it. Um, keep it very thin and that should do it with the highlights.
Okay, so now we've highlighted it up, we can start to shade it back down. Uh, this time we're just going to get some Bugman's Glow and we're going to drag it into the opposite corners to the ones we've highlighted in the same way we did before. To mix in a little bit of dry add bar in with our bug moon's glow and we're going to do the same thing again just covering a little less area if you're not careful as i'm not at some stages of painting this you can get some watermarking when you glaze in the darker color over a lighter one so keep your paint thin um mix i mixed a little bit of lamia medium in with mine to stop the pigment separating so much but you also need to whip your brush off and make sure you're only using like a little little bit of paint basically. Um, what you can do to fix watermarks is you can go back to previous colour, like for instance go back to the Bugman's Glow and then just glaze over and just try and soften that transition a little bit. Now once we've done those, we are going to add a little bit of colour into it. That I'm just going to thin down some Volipus Pink with some Lamia Medium. And I'm just going to glaze that over the dark parts just to bring a tiny little bit of colour back in. After that, we thin down some dry out bar, very thin. And we're just going to run it into all of the recesses wash basically to just heighten the, the separation between those panels okay so I made a bit of a mistake here I accidentally didn't record the egg part stage and I thought oh, okay well I've still got the shoulder pad I can uh, record that Bit up all the shoulder pad. Forgot to record that as well. So yeah, I used a mix of Screaming Skull and some white acrylic ink. This is a Daler and Brownie. You can use white, you can use other types of acrylic ink. I just find this it flow a bit better. So just do it highlights as normal and pretend that there's some footage here. After this, I got a quick play of AK Ultra Lana and also just Lani Medium, any other kind of matting agent. And it just keeps the thing looking smooth, ties all the colours together, just gives it a lovely matching. Well, that's Fabius's skin cloak all done. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, camera and recording issues notwithstanding. It looks pretty good, I think. Um, I'll leave that to you to judge. But I'm hoping to do some more tutorials on this, and this is my first video, so if you've got any feedback for me on how it went, then please leave it in the comments. And do all that like, comment, subscribe stuff, please. Thanks. See you soon.